Okay, so with this recipe, we're gonna make, this is a very simple um, little cookie. Yeah. Um, and we're using ginger. Yeah. As an so many times, um, you know, nausea is a common side effect of cancer or different, or different treatments. Um, and so that can affect, you know, being nauseous, having a side effect like that could actually affect what you're eating. So um, if your doctor has prescribed a medication, an anti-nausea medication, then definitely use that and use that as follows. Um, but the foods that you eat can actually have an effect, can help as well. So, um, you know, having liquids um, separately from the dry foods or eating meals throughout the day. Um, and something like this cookie, which is a dry food, um, and then you know pairing it with different things could actually also help. Um, and because it's a ginger cookie um, that we're going to be looking at, um, there's a compound in it called gingerol, and that's been studied to actually help with um, nausea post-surgery and um, to, to help with those types of side effects. Okay, so for the cookies, what we're using is um, egg whites. Yeah, these are pasteurized egg whites, right? So again, something, a word that Stephanie used before, we wanna make sure that uh, we are cooking this as well. So you can use regular egg whites, but um, the pasteurized brand has already been uh, yeah, pasteurized, you know that it's heated hard. up, so yeah. safe, food safe. So we're using half a cup of pasteurized egg whites, and we're gonna use about four tablespoons of maple syrup. This is gonna sweeten it, but it's it's not gonna be an overly sweet cookie, which is nice. We're gonna keep this pretty neutral. Yes, I'm doing it by eye, but I knew there was exactly four tablespoons left <laughs> in this. And it's going slow. It's going very slow, yeah, the slow. <laughs> All right, and we're gonna whisk this up. Now, anytime you whisk egg whites, we're forcing air into the egg whites, right? And it's a great carrier for air. So it's gonna froth up. Now this is great if we're making, um, you know, uh, any uh, recipe that needs leavening, that needs to, to rise a little bit. With this, we don't need as much. So I don't need to whisk until it has peaks or anything crazy like that. I just want it to froth up a little bit. So, Whisking for maybe 20 seconds, just until it looks like that. So a little foamy, definitely not peaks by any means. And then we can add our dry ingredients. So it's an almond cookie, so we're gonna use ground almonds. Uh, so almond flour, anytime a recipe says almond flour, they're referring to just ground almonds, right? So if you just have almonds at home, you can grind them up in a food processor, and that's pretty much what I did here, and you have your almond flour. So we're gonna add one cup, this is a third cup size, and we're gonna add oat flour. Same thing, oat flour is just pulsed oats, right? So you don't have to buy specific oat flour. If you have, you know, large flake oats, quick oats, just throw it in your food processor, and this is a great alternative to regular flour. Yeah, and just, you know, sometimes when you are feeling nauseous, you don't want to be in the kitchen. Um, so, you know, having a friend or a family member to make the recipe, if you, you know, your nausea tends to be associated with different smells. So you could always give somebody, you know, this such an easy recipe to, to make. So this is fresh ginger. Um, you can add as much as you want. I like to add uh, a little more ginger, I like the flavor. It has a little bit of like a heat to it, which is really nice. Um, so we're using fresh. Uh, ginger is one of those things that probably goes and shrinks and shrivels up pretty fast in your refrigerator, right? Freeze it, yeah. yeah. Peel it, freeze it. Uh, it grates even easier when it's frozen, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, so that's one of the things, because it, you know, you're probably not using a massive piece of ginger that often, and you won't, probably won't go through that quickly, so yeah. great little storing tip. Uh, we're gonna use some ground ginger as well. And about half a teaspoon-ish. Cinnamon. I put half a teaspoon. You can put as much cinnamon. <laughs> I love cinnamon. So you can put as, you know, a little bit more. And a little pinch of salt. 
Salt is something that you see sometimes in very small amounts in sweet applications, uh, which you might think, okay, it's the sweet desserts. Why am I using salt? Salt just helps to pick up other flavors. So it's gonna make the ginger taste more gingery, the cinnamon taste more cinnamony. Cinnamon <laughs> um, yeah, no, I thought everyone was on board with that one. No. Okay, and, and we're gonna mix it up. Really simple, and this is gonna give us uh, more of a wet batter. It's almost gonna look like, like oatmeal in the morning. And so this is pretty much what we're looking for here, right? Um, because there is no gluten in the oats and the almond flour, we don't have to worry too much about overworking it and becoming tough. So just mix really until everything is combined. So it looks like oatmeal, looks like breakfast, right? Um, and then that's it. Then you can put it onto your parchment. Uh, and make your little biscuits. You can do them any size you want. You can use a spoon. These little uh, mini ice, ice cream scoops are fantastic. Yeah. Right? So you just scoop a few on. And these won't really flatten on their own, like some cookies. So if you do want them a little flatter, they become a little yeah. crispier. <laughs> yeah. You can just uh, press them. Use like the back of a spoon and just press them so that they're yeah. a little lower. I find that they, they come out a little crispier. If you want them soft, then just leave them like that. Really simple. So that goes into the oven 350 degrees for about 15 minutes. And do you think I have one ready? Yes. Probably. It's already plated. Whoa. Whoa. I didn't even have to play this. It's magic oven. Um, and that's, that's pretty much what we're yeah. looking for, right? So a little bit of golden brown um, and your whole kitchen will smell like ginger and cinnamon, <laughs> which is a nice added bonus. Um, and those are like a really nice little snack.